plus 50% Cardano trade signal. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video guys, we're going to be talking about Cardano trade signal guys. So I've had a few messages on my previous Cardano videos where I've talked about a Cardano breakout. So people have asked me how I went about it. Uh, so in this video, I'll be explaining to you with an empty chart. So I'll start off with a completely empty chart. I'll get rid of all my indicators and then I'll start drawing it from from the start to see to explain to you guys how you guys can do it as well. Um, so again, this is not an after the fact. I'll show you guys exact proofs as well of exactly how I was trading it with entry and exits. So you guys can learn from it. If you guys enjoy my channel, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I really appreciate you. If, if well, let me let me promise you this: if you enjoy this video, then you can subscribe. It then so. I'll come back to this at the end let's get into the videos at the moment so so in the video, like I said, I'll talk about my Cardano trade why I took it, I'll explain to you how you guys can do the exact same thing and then guys I'll show you proof of exactly how I took it where I took the trades and then um, I'll talk about what could be happening next with Cardano so guys uh, I've got an empty chart of Cardano so I like to look at the high time frame charts so Cardano um, I was looking at the weekly chart so this was a huge support level uh, for Cardano so once it broke this level guys it was kind of bad for Cardano and once it broke this level it dropped quite a bit further down it dropped on about another 36% but once it was finding some support I got interested in it and uh, so one reason is its uh, previous support so that was one of the reasons I was interested in Cardano the other reason is it was the 1272 region as uh, it's not exactly the 1272 but it's a Fibonacci level that I I look out for so this is this, these are two uh, reasons why I was interested I'm going to be adding a, the indicator now I'm, oh, it's gonna be pain now adding the indicator I've just removed it let me add the indicator for you I use the simple one I've got another indicator that I've, I've built it myself but let's just use this indicator and then guys we saw RSI divergence the price is making lower lower just moving sideways and the RSI is making higher higher and it's extremely sold oversold on the weekly on the daily you can see uh, it's extremely oversold so this was a couple of reasons why I was interested so this is the first thing that's the most important thing guys finding out a uh, high probability zone so in my you know when my, my students the first thing I teach them is finding the high probability zones once you find the high probability zones then all you need is to find a trade setups in the youtube channel i give you guys the coins that i'm looking out for for breakouts and then uh, in, in the group i've shared exact entry and exit signals if you're interested i'll leave the links below so once i found that high probability zone what did i do next i was looking to trade it um so my main strategy is trading a pullback so i would draw the support and resistance line so that's one of the first things you can do so this is a huge support level so um, I usually like to trade the hourly chart. That's my uh, speciality, if you if you want to call it. And one of my strategy is buying support. So I I wouldn't buy the first one. I think when I saw it bounce off again, I thought you know this could be a big support level zone. And I think it was back in October October time when I started making uh, sort of these videos on Cardano. You can go back and watch it. So I bought some here. I think this was my first big entry because I think you know this could go up. I had my stop below. I bought some here. See if it can carry on and then um, I actually bought some more here as well I have my moving averages here I haven't got my moving average let me add my MAs on there it's not easy doing it from scratch But this is giving you a tutorial of how I do this. I mean, not many people will probably watch this video, but this is the more important, one of the most important videos that you can watch because I'm literally showing you how I do. I go in depth, in depth on how to do every little thing, but this is just a gist of exactly how I do everything. I, 
then I bought some more here at the pullback because I thought, you know what, this this is my trading strategy. When something comes back, I try to pull back. Watch the RSI Mastery video as well. And this was a really good uh, level for me to buy. So I bought some here, sold at the double top. Then when it broke out, I actually bought some more. I mean, I got rid of the volume as well, I think. But there was some volume spike and I was interested. And that was a loss. So that one I took a loss on because I exited the position when I saw this big candle on the daily. I was like, do you know what, I don't think this will move up. So I took a loss on that. So I'm happy to share a loss as well i think this is exactly uh when it broke this level i, I took a loss about five percent and then i was still hodling because i was like i bought it back in here i was like no i still believe this will this can go up so i i, I sold some of it but still hodling some so the way i do it is i get into a trade then once it goes up i try to sell about you know 33 percent or 50 percent one third or half of a position and the most interesting thing was here. So when it came back here, you saw a big spike, big volume. And this is where I got in again in Cardano. Huge support level. Very good, very good structure. It was around here. Got above the moving average. So this is a really good level to buy. So this is where I bought. But these are more about swing trading. Um, but this was a good level to buy. And I trade this, I share this trading strategy with few other coins as well. I've shared it on RVN. I feel like I repeat myself, but you could see I bought the support here and I've made, I bought the support a few previous times as well. And this has been really, really profitable in, in RVN. But let's go back to ADA example. So when it was coming here, I think it was around here when I was like, I think this will break up again because you see it's tried to break out a few times it's getting a back above again people seem to like it there's you know the stuff going on with the cardano project i think this will pump so signal i provided uh, exact signal was the ideal setup would be to buy around 400 so if it pulls back to the 400 level so that would be the ideal setup so which is this one um i'm already in it so this is where i got the, th the stop level would be below this support i don't like to keep one like 395 because it could literally spike you out so it's best to give it some space my other ideal setup would be above the red zone then our trading strategy setup from the course so if you join this group you get a free course as well uh, i'm doing this for the this is the last month if you want the full course and not only that you get added to the group i'll talk about it at the end of the video if you're interested I talked about the targets as well. It's already reached uh, one of the target, which was 6.30. And you can see it exactly hit 6.30. And the reason for it is uh, support and resistance, uh, as you can see. So these I've already exited about two thirds of this position. I look to buy more uh, if it gives me an opportunity. So I would buy a breakout about 5.65, which stopped below. So this was one of the strategies. So 5.65 is here. So if you're not, if you didn't buy it here, if you missed the trading setups, you could have just bought the breakout and then you would have still made about 13%. And if you haven't got time, just buy now with your stop below the low, with a small position, because if you're just buying now with stop below, your uh, your risk to reward would be quite high, uh, and it, sorry, it would be quite low, your risk will be high, so you have to take less of the position. So if your risk is high, you can't take the full position. I think it was around, we could check where it was, it was around 450 i think when i was uh, talking about it i think it was around here and um yeah so some people just bought it i know a few people just copied me on youtube as well there's someone who said he bought it at 480 what exactly when i just uh, provided the signal and uh, but i don't want people just blindly but i want them to think about my thought process so you can do it. i don't want you guys to find your own setups and people that have taken in the group they're taking their own setups i want you guys to see what i'm doing and apply it uh, one of the signals that i i, I took a live trade uh, let me show you that on Sunday, I took a live trade and that's worked out really well. You know, I, I said I'd look to buy the breakout above that, which stopped below. It almost spiked us out. Up, I took half off here. And then if you were in this position, it came and hit the double top level. So you could have taken about a 5% profit on that one. So this was a live signal I shared. So make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification button. Uh, I do a live stream every Sunday. And if, if coins are looking good, we do take some trades. XLM was another one that a trade that we took. That was brilliant. That was a huge move up. So yeah, that was sort of how I traded and that was, I talked about the proof. This was a proof I've shared it, not only in the educational group, I shared videos on it as well. I didn't go, gave the exact entries and exits, but I talked about what I'm looking to trade, how I'm looking to trade it. So hopefully that video helps you out, guys. I shared with you exactly from an empty chart, how I put everything together. Uh, hopefully you guys can start learning the process and start uh, 
start you know using this information and start to trade successfully it takes a lot of time don't get this r10 i've been doing this for over six years it's not i've not just picked it up today and I'm, i can know it. if you watch the video you you slightly start to learn it and then over time you'll you'll improve so what is happening with cardano now um with cardano now guys again if you're watching this video at a later date you could see what happened with cardano guys if it gets above the red zone guys it's great i look to buy but it, it, it could pull back this red is a big resistance zone as you can see it could pull back here so it could find some resistance and pull back here and then try to move up so longer term if cardano stays above five let me draw the fibonacci's so maybe 38250 as long as it stays above 520 it could still carry on moving up but if you're looking to buy more you could look to scalp but if you're looking to trade big time i would wait for cardano to get above 654 if it gets above 654 you can look to take a trade that will be my strategy but i'm still bullish on it if it breaks about 605 i'll make another video on cardano because that will be very bullish and i'll share with you my new strategy then so thank you very much guys i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button if you're interested in the group i'll leave the links below it's last month you get the full educational course as well and also you'll get added to my group that i'll be launching for free so uh, that will be a facebook and telegram group where i'll be going live doing live streams uh, if you join now you'll get access to that as well so thank you very much guys i hope you guys have enjoyed it uh, and if you guys have any thoughts about this video or want me to make any other video like fundamental or technical analysis or whatever video you want comment below and i'll try to make those videos for you so thank you very much guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much